Welcome back. Aaron Hernandez was back in court this week as prosecutors ask a judge for more time to build their case against him. The Boston Globe is reporting he's also now the target of a grand jury investigation into a double murder that happened back in July of 2012. Now, Hernandez is already facing first degree murder charges and the death of 27 year old Odin Lloyd. He's pleaded not guilty. Now, in the wake of Hernandez's arrest, there are new reports that the NFL may consider using police experts to check players' tattoos for gang affiliations. This, according to a CBS report, Hernandez was known for having numerous tattoos. He actually has them. Uh, Dave Zirin is with the, is the sports editor. Um, he joins us now, edgeofsports.com. Uh, Dave, so this is interesting because you do have, of course, young people, and, and let's face it, tattoos are nothing new here. But this possible uh, examination of these tattoos for prospects, what do you think of this here? It's the NFL's worst idea since helmets without face masks and $10 beers. <laughs> Why do you and say le so? Let's leave aside the attendant irony that a league built on highly commodified violence is very concerned about gangs in the locker room. Let's leave that aside and talk about what this means. It means that the NFL will be judging their prospective employees and people they are going to make millionaires as possible gang members without any proof whatsoever. Let me tell you something, Tamron. This is going to be tagged for very good reasons as racist and racially motivated. You have a league that's 70% African American and they're going to be checking their bodies for gang tattoos. Here's a statistic that's rooted in reality and not in Roger Goodell's NFL hysteria. A typical NFL player between the ages of 22 and 34 is five times less likely to be arrested than a typical American male. Violence is down across the country in terms of gang use. The only reason for this is an overreaction after what took place with Aaron Hernandez. And frankly, if people had wanted to know that Aaron Hernandez might have been a problem. The tattoos, they did not need to know this. Everybody knew this coming out of college. You're pointing to specific issues in his past that uh, NFL owners and teams were aware of. Yes, absolutely. They existed from the time he was a teenager. But I also have to say, there's also no proof positive that Aaron Hernandez was ever in a gang, yeah. otherwise known as the Bristol Bloods out of right. Bristol, Connecticut, which sangs, sounds only slightly more scary than something Arthur Fonzarelli would have been in. But the, the pictures that, they, that have surfaced online all look like a kid smiling with his thumbs up. I mean, there's nothing real there. What you do have is the NFL with an image problem, as you would in any industry right. if one of your stars gets indicted for a double, possibly even triple homicide. Well, there's a Time Magazine article published today. Colin Kaepernick responded to critics of his tattoos and any possible comparisons. He says in part, Dave, to me, tattoos are a way of people being able to express themselves and have others look at them and get a little insight into who they are without ever even saying a word to them. All my tattoos, they've been throughout through um, over and been a work in progress for at least a year before I got them. So I'm not walking into a tattoo shop picking tattoos off the wall. Something that means something to me is something that I believe in. And right now, Colin uh, Kaepernick, one of the most beloved players in the league. Yeah, number one selling jersey in the league. And let's remember, they call the NFL the no fun league for a reason. It's because the league does whatever it, c it can to squelch the individuality of players. I mean, you can't even wear different colored shoelaces than your other teammates, or you're going to risk a fine. Sure. And so a lot of players who are raised from the time they're teenagers, they're being told, don't just be a man, be a brand, stand out. A lot of players even just use tattoos, as Kaepernick said, to show themselves. But I'll tell you this, if the NFL really cared about the issue of violence, they would be doing a lot more to deal with the issue of violence against women, mm. which is far more prevalent among NFL players than anything that has to do with bloods, crips, or gangs. Dave Zirin, thank you so much. And we'll